Okay, so this is just a short video to show how I white balance my images. Um, I photograph my work in a light box with a white background, which is something I got off Amazon. Um, you can make it yourself too if you want. There's lots of information out there on those. Um, and then I put it into GIMP, which is a free sort of Photoshop alternative that's really great. Um, yeah, and then once you've loaded that up, um, there's the colors menu there. And it does have an auto white balance feature, um, which works okay. Uh, I find, at least, because my images, images, they tend to have sort of a gradient, so it'll lighten some parts, but then it still leaves some gray. So what I tend to do, um, again, under the colors menu, uh, is this levels tool. And that comes up with this little graph that sort of, I guess, shows the, the different tones in your image. And so we've got these little sliders here that you can uh, adjust and they will lighten things. Or if you drag the other one, it'll, it'll darken everything. Um, or what's really handy is this eyedropper tool that you can just click, select a point that you want to be white and it will just even everything out using that sort of as your as your basis um, and then you can do the same thing like yeah you can you can click around um, find what's good because of course it will edit the whole image not just the white background so it will change how uh, your subject looks as well so there if you click if you, <laughs> you don't get the white right one it can change it quite drastically uh, and same with, with on the dark side of things. Um, it can easily get too dark, especially if you, you know, you click a lighter pixel right beside what looks like a black one. Um, but yeah, that's the basic idea. Uh, so I, I like to use the eyedropper tools to get kind of a, a starting point. Uh, and then if I need to, you can drag the things or just use the arrows to make some minor adjustments to to get it how you want it. And I hope that's helpful. Thanks.